Webb describes a system of constructed and preserved wetlands, bioswales, so vegetated swales, which surround the different uh, villages and communities within Harmony and act as a area for recreation and enjoyment by the public, but as well as an important aspect of the water management program as a pretreatment before water enters the lake. Wetlands are important on a natural environment as well as in a developed environment, probably more so in a developed environment, because in a developed environment we've changed the landscape. We've added more pervious surfaces to the landscape, we've added pavement and rooftops and those sort of things. And so putting wetlands back in the landscape is important for your stormwater master plan, so there's, you put that storage back on the landscape so there's a place for water to go when it rains, as well as uh, helping the, the entire landscape uh, shed the water properly. Harmony's Green Web has been designed to incorporate some of the site's existing wetlands so that we can minimize our impact on the ecosystems that were already present. So wetlands treat water in a variety of ways. Uh, mostly, you, you've heard the term uh, wetlands are uh, nature's kidneys, and that's very true. So there's a variety of physical, chemical, and other processes that go on in wetlands. Nutrients are taken up, plants take up nutrients, toxic compounds, say pesticides, are broken down in these. And of course the sun plays an, an enormous role in, in putting UV in these systems and physically breaking apart dangerous particles and killing things like bacteria uh, that don't like uh, bright sunny environments. You know, traditionally engineers have built stormwater ponds or dry ponds, whereas now we're looking at getting into more wet pond designs that have more wildlife uh, accessibility, that have more, provide just a, a wider variety of ecological goods and services than just the water treatment role that previously we focused on. Wetlands provide a variety of waterfowl, aquatic insect, amphibian, and water bird uh, habitat. People want to be near and experiencing water and nature. And in Harmony, we have this really unique opportunity to have the homes and the places we live in be right next to and intertwined with these areas. So one of the things that Quality is working with Harmony on in the future is uh, incorporating some of our course material uh, into a, a public education component. And water literacy is very high on our agenda and indeed uh, the average Albertan needs to learn more about water, needs to learn more about wetlands in particular. And we're really hoping to stimulate education by getting kids feet wet, collecting aquatic bugs, looking at the plants that are growing in the water, uh, looking at the wildlife that's using those and really getting a good sense of what are the ecological goods and services that wetlands provide. Having a wetland in your backyard, you get to see it, kids get to experience it, it gets away from some of that nature deficit disorder that we hear about all the time that kids have. And so it's a really exciting opportunity to get this kind of an experience in people's backyards.